The Billy Johnson Community Hero for the month of February 2012 is Captain John McMahon of the Kentucky State Police. Captain McMahon is well known in the area as a 19-year veteran of the state police, but most people have no idea he just returned from a year in Iraq as a member of the National Guard. Um, I was 39 years old. And I told my wife, I said, I'm getting ready to turn 40. And I said, I didn't realize I could still get back into the military because they had actually raised the age waiver on it. Mm -hmm. So when I found that out, I told her, this is what I'm supposed to do. Because someone had come and told me about it. I researched it and found out I could go in as an officer, which means I would be in charge of troops. And I thought, that's what I need to be doing. And it just worked its way out. And of course, she didn't really understand it and still doesn't to a degree. But uh, she does understand the calling part of it. Captain McMahon says he feels that his 19 years in the Kentucky State Police helped prepare him for the things that he would encounter in Iraq. I mean, you see a lot of stuff in the state police, especially over 19 years. I mean, you see shootings, um, car accidents. You just see a multitude of things that, that leave an, an imprint on you. And helping those young people deal with things that they saw over there um, and, or might see. You know, you just never know what you're going to see over there. Um, I felt like I was I was very suited to do that, and like I said, I everything I asked them to do, they did without hesitation. What kind of things did you see over there that that did make an impact on you? The biggest thing that I saw over there was the devastation in that country. I mean, there is almost all the buildings over there are just completely destroyed. And one thing that really really shows you gives you an insight into how their culture is or was. Let me rephrase that. They had a uh, Republican National Guard building over there. This was right outside one of Saddam's palaces. And inside this, they had a nursery. And inside this, the, the, the nursery, the whole building was bombed out. Of course, there was no children at that time, but they had bombed the building out. And on the walls, you could see a mural. And they had uh, AK-47s and uh, uh, knives, swords, painting along with uh, floral designs for the nursery. So that kind of really puts it put in perspective for you, just how long these people have been at war with each other and just what kind of culture they raise their children in. I mean, it was really shocking to me to walk into this war-devastated building and just look up and just see, you know, what, how they were raised, you know, how they raised their children, what, what was important to them. Right. Is, uh, you know, the weapons were important to them from, from very young age. Tennille Newsom with the Johnson Law Firm presented Captain McMahon with a check for $500 made out to the charity of his choice, which was the Special Olympics Law Enforcement Torch Run. When asked why he decided to go back into the military and serve his country at 40 years old, Captain McMahon said he truly feels that it was a calling. Uh, to, me, to me, I mean, it's, it's, a, and you know, it's, it's a religious thing for me. I mean, I felt like that, um, that God wanted me to do this, and I felt like that I, that I answered the call, and I just felt glad to do it. I mean, when I, when I got over there, you know, and I'm looking at all the young people that's over there with me, and, and they all, you know, wanted to hear stories about the state police and stories about, you know, what I've done in the Guard so far. And, you know, it was, it was just very fluid. I mean, everything I asked them to do, they did without hesitation, without question. And I felt like that's why I was there, to, to make sure they, they were kept safe and using my experience in that, in that regard. Congratulations, Captain John McMahon of the Kentucky State Police, Billy Johnson Community Hero for the month of February 2012.